Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and get ahead in their business or organization. Ideal for project management and in this, in this particular case, ideal for business analysis. So when you're gathering all the requirements and figuring out the current situation uh, for your customers or for the people that you're delivering value to, then this particular diagram is extremely valuable to you to use. And it's called a context diagram where we've got our main system or process that something is interacting with and then it's all of the other systems or areas and it's the flow of information great for IT or information technology and uh, and how does that information flow to these other areas or these other systems that we're going to need to know about when we're doing our project or our change so this context diagram is absolutely wonderful and a really really nice way to get your message across but the best thing about this particular diagram is uh, with your normal points so when you're connecting arrows, you'll see that uh, you're actually able to connect it directly to these different points on the shape. Now with a normal square in PowerPoint, it only has about four different points that you can connect it to. But we're going to show you a little trick that will allow you to add more points to your, uh, to your shapes so that you can connect more arrows, as uh, especially for the more complex projects that you work on. Let's get into the sheet. Now, of course, the first thing we're doing is just inserting two regular shapes. And we've got our beautiful circle in the middle. And if we hold shift while we create that, that will create a perfect circle for us. And we can just change the color to any color that we please. With all of our shapes, we're going to format those shapes and we're just going to change the margins under text options, probably either to uh, zero or to very close to zero. And that way it's not going to, you know, it's not going to overlap. It's going to look a little bit nicer for us. And then just so that we can demonstrate, if we insert another shape and it's just going to be a curved, a beautiful curved arrow. And as you can see, it gives us the points that we can connect it to. So the points that we're looking at here, uh, let's say we connect it to this one and uh, it can go anywhere for now. We'll just make this uh, the shape and size that we want. Now, what if this is not enough? So this is, this is a few points, but if we have more than five or six systems and it's got information flowing to and from those systems, this is not gonna be enough points for us for our circle. So how do we add more points? And the answer is very simple. What we're going to do is select this, Control C and Control V, so we'll copy a version of this again. We'll make sure that it's, uh, that it's right on top of where we want. So it's exactly what we're looking for. But what we're going to do is just uh, hold this little section here that allows us to change the angle of it as well. Now, if we change this ever so slightly just to the right hand side, we can put this one to the back just so that it doesn't look too, uh, too strange. Now, when we select the front one, it's going to be a normal square. But if we select both of those together and if we right click and if we group these, and say group. Now we have a one grouped circle and there's going to be more connectors for us to work with. And as you can see, the angle does make a difference, especially for the circle. The circle is a little bit tricky actually. So we don't want to change, uh, change the angle too much. And if we go back, now we can actually see that there's many more different points. We've got these ones, but then we've got these ones appear as well for our second circle. And the same is going to apply for our other systems or areas. So if we select a normal, uh, a normal square, and that's going to be our other systems or areas, we'll just give it all the different fill details that we want. Update the margins and the text options, of course. Now the way we do this is if we control C and control V and copy this one and hold shift again while we, while we decrease the size of this, what we're going to do is just add four different squares to go in our other square. And so this one will go on this side, this one will go on this side, this one will go up the top, and we can increase the size of those just a little bit. Now with these, we will send them to the back. So that one will go to the back, that one will go to the back, this one will go to the back, and this one will go to the back. And that leaves us with our main square. But if we select all of those again, and if we right click and group together, then now we have all of those extra points and let's grab our connector. We've got this point, we've got these ones down here, uh, and then we've got these ones or the one in the center, uh, or these ones as well. So we've automatically added a whole bunch of extra connecting points, which is really gonna be valuable when we're creating our context diagram. Now, if we right click and edit text, we'll just say other systems or areas. And with our circle, if it won't allow you to add text, we can always just add a text box for ourselves, And that can just go in the middle here. We can get rid of the outline and say no outline, edit the text. And that way we can say this is our main system or process. 
And if we group that together, then that way that will be a part of that shape and that's exactly what we're wanting. Now this is connecting really well to our shapes and that, means, that also means if we move these shapes in the future, then it will automatically move with us. And, and that's really important for our context diagram when we're moving shapes around and, uh, and we're changing things as they're updated. The last thing we need to do is just create the labels. And so all we need to do for that is just a nice rounded rectangle. You can actually choose any shape that you want and we'll increase the size of that just a little bit. We'll right click and just give it, no, we'll give it a white background so that it does stand out. And the outline, maybe we can say any outline that we choose. Of course, if we right click and edit the text for this, then this is the type of information in. And we just want that uh, to change the color of that text and make sure that it, uh, that it does fit within our box. And remember, we can change the margins uh, just to suit if we want to. Now we just need to add those labels to the rest of our, our information flows and our context diagram is starting to take shape. And that's the bones behind creating a context diagram to show the information flow of systems uh, in the systems in your particular project or area. Plus that little trick for getting more connector points on any of your shapes. I hope you've enjoyed this session and I hope you've enjoyed creating this diagram with me. I've absolutely enjoyed spending the time with you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.